Okay. Uh, thanks all of you. Uh, hello, everyone. It's an honor for me uh, to present it in this uh, webinars. And also thanks to Chen Ling's uh, invitation. Uh, my, today's my lecture's uh, title is uh, Functional Modification and Control Fabrication and the Biomedical Application of Bacterial Cellulose Hydrogens. Uh, I slightly to change my title uh, from the nature polysaccharide to be the bacterial cellulose. Uh, I think because the time is limited, so I try to uh, concentrate it to only introduce the uh, bacterial cellulose. So first, uh, uh, I will briefly to introduce my uh, lab. My lab is the biomaterials, biomolecular, and the biofabrication lab. Uh, this lab we try to, uh, we also uh, call it the three by lab. We are um, mainly for the uh, by medical engineering. Uh, so uh, if uh, you can check my uh, website uh, and also send the email to me, if you have any question uh, for my lab, uh, the main purpose, the main focus for the bacterial cellulose. So for bacterial cellulose, it, uh, one is uh, itself the bacterial cellulose. And another uh, bacterial cellulose, it, this is a kind of the nanocellulose. So based on that, uh, nanocellulose, they can to uh, establish or to build the different functional materials. And for the nanocellulose is also a kind of very good a building block uh, for the 3D printing. And also we can uh, use the bacterial cellulose, this kind of nanocellulose, obtain some ordered structure to design and fabrication some special uh, nanostructures, hydrogens. And in the case for the bacterial cellulose, that is not the normally nanocellulose, that is uh, for the spatial uh, microbes to screens uh, nanocellulose. So they can, uh, one is that we try to uh, use the uh, cell-free system to uh, research the, uh, to research the synthesized bacteria, uh, synthesize the bacterial cellulose. And another is the way also try to genetic engineering the bacterial cellulose. And another uh, is the, uh, a kind of the biofabrication. This biofabrication uh, based on the living uh, microbes and uh, we were uh, introduced uh, later. So first, for the uh, bacterial cellulose, we were functionalized. We try to obtain the, some different functional materials. For bacterial cellulose itself, uh, one is uh, to try to research the biosynthesize this process. And another, bacterial cellulose is a kind of the uh, structure materials. So if we try to obtain the different functions, it's need to uh, composite it with the other function materials. So it's, uh, uh, we try to obtain different uh, composite it and another to calculation, the different properties and also for different application. So for bacterial cellulose, the one research is how to control the biofabrication this process. And another uh, itself, if for the biomedical application, we try to make them have some uh, antibacterial uh, properties. And another for bacterial cellulose composite, uh, we also try to make them have some electroactive uh, properties. It can uh, make them have some electroconductivities and also have some electrochemical uh, redox properties and also have the other electromechanical uh, machineries, conversation properties and so on. So for bacterial cellulose, they were produced by bacteria. So we can, during this incubation process, to obtain the 
nanocellulose network uh, hydrogens. So bacterial cells itself have some special properties. One is the spatial structure. So this uh, spatial structure is nanocellulose to have the uh, three dimensions and networks. And another, these materials can make the different shape, uh, can be the particles, can be the films, can be the hydrogens, can be the gels. And also, bacterial cells itself have the very good bicompatibility. And another, for the incubation process, we can control the bacteria to got the different uh, patternized structure. So for uh, biofabrication based on the microbes, so this process, we can uh, establish the different methods to try to control the bacteria and also we can control the cells. So we use this biofabrication process to obtain the different biomaterials, by device, and also the biosystems. And the key is the how to control them to make them have the ordered arrangement and also direction the movement for bacteria. For bacteria itself, in the uh, in the case for biofabrication, we itself they can uh, be become a kind of structures. So the based on the structure of microbes, we can assemble of the regular structured building blocks. In this case, we try to because the microbes itself they have a different shape. For example, there's the spheres and also the road-like, and sometimes it's the uh, helix structure and so on, we can use the, this, the unique structures. And another uh, microbial itself also can based on the functions of microbials, so we can patternize the active site or some uh, products and so on. So, so different, different uh, microbials is a kind of the nano or micro robot. And based on that, we can obtain the, uh, try to uh, obtain the functional materials. So uh, for the bifurcation, we established a different new method to control the, uh, to control the bacteria is we can use the microfluidic and also we can use the molecular template and also can use the magnetic control or by printing several methods to order the control the uh, bacteria and the uh, microbes. And then we can, uh, based on structure or function to establish the different system. And uh, for the control by fabrication is uh, one method we establish this magnetic stimulator. In this case, we use the magnetic particle to modify the, uh, the surface of microbes. And also uh, we can genetically to uh, modify the uh, bacteria. So this is the optic genetic uh, modified. After that, the microbes can uh, can controlled by different different light. So this is the optic genetic manipulation, the microbes. So is a kind of the uh, use the light, different light to printing the microbes. And another, uh, we can use a different ordered template to control the uh, microbes uh, movement. And then we uh, formed different patternized structures. And another is we also can use the electric field, electronic uh, field to control the microbes, and then to form the different, uh, 
to control the uh, different partilized structure. So in this case, we use the different engineering uh, microbes. For example, this is the uh, east. So we uh, modified the surface and then to uh, use the uh, magnetic field. And then we can obtain the uh, patternized uh, microbes. And also uh, this is uh, to modify the uh, E. coli. And the both of them, uh, we are successfully to achieve the patternized microbes. And also we try to use the uh, same technique to control the uh, bacteria, uh, to control the uh, xylems, uh, acrobatic xylems. And then we obtain the ordered structure we use this method and uh, we can uh, use the magnetic to obtain the partilized uh, structures. And another, we uh, used uh, a super hydrophobic surface. And on this surface, they have the solid part they have the uh, L part and another is the liquid part. So this is the solid, liquid, and the gas tree fills interface. And in this uh, interface, we successfully to obtain the cellulose bridge and the cellulose fence and the cellulose wall and the cellulose network and so on. And another use the molecular template. And molecular template is the, for the cellulose itself, this polysaccharide itself is both to have the hydrophobic site and hydrophilic site. And in the case for the hydrophobic site to, to form the hydrophobic shade and hydrophilic a hydrophilic site to form uh, like this. And then we obtained the, this kind of the NOC template. And on this NOC template, we incubated the cellulose. And then finally, we obtained the uh, quite uh, ordered structures. So aligned uh, nanocellulose. And Another method is the we directly use the electric uh, field, and electric field also can control the uh, control the bacteria's movement, and based on that, we obtained the um, aligned uh, orientation uh, cellulose fibers. So this is uh, used the. Uh, Microstructured uh, template. This uh, silica template, and also use the uh, uh, other template, MD, uh, a PDMS template. Uh, here is the bacterial cellulose. Uh, so we obtained the ordered structure of uh, cellulose. And then on this surface, and we can. Uh, observed the neural, neural stem cell can align and uh, along these uh, structures. So for bacterial cellulose itself, they have, the, uh, they have many uh, potential application. They can to be the soft scaffold, soft tissue for the skin, for the blood vessel, and also after to combining, composite it with the inorganic uh, materials to become some hard tissue for the bone and uh, cartilage. And also they can use the, for neural repairing and also for the cancer therapy. And another to be a 
uh, drug delivery systems. So the mostly for uh, bacterial cellulose uh, used for the skin, that is uh, very good for artificial skin. And another is for the uh, cosmetic uh, application. So for the some uh, masking, nano masks. And another is for the skin repairing uh, materials, wood dressing is mostly uh, bacterial cellulose is applied. So for bacterial cellulose itself, it's almost the same uh, effect infected for the uh, for the mouse skin itself. If we comparing to the other uh, other cotton gans and the vaseline gans, or for the this is the uh, pig skin and the rat skin that we can observe for the bacterial cellulose is very good for the wood dressing. And not only for the wood dressing, for uh, bacterial cellulose, they can apply it for the artificial blood vessel and also can use this uh, patronized bacterial cellulose for neural repairing. And another, we try to use them as a, uh, a kind of the intervertebral disc, IVD. And uh, I will introduce more uh, detail later. So first is for the uh, IVD, is the, we try to by mimicking the 3D hierarchical tissue engineering IVD. Uh, with the micro patent VC and uh, uh, alternating the hydrogens. So for the RVD itself, the outside is very hard. It needs a stronger uh, higher uh, mechanical properties, but the inside is the need the soft, so in this case, we use the bacterial cellulose that is outside. And another, because it's need the more stronger. So uh, for, the, um, for the IVD itself, that is the structures uh, like this. So we use the uh, PDMS template first to uh, obtained the, this uh, minus 13 uh, degree and the uh, plus 13 degrees patent. And after fermentation, uh, cellulose, we obtained the micro patent BC. And on this BC, the patent BC after rotation, this is outside, uh, outside of, of the IVD. And inside, we put the collagen collagen gels. So this is the artificial uh, RVD structures. And use this, uh, we can observe this uh, pattern structure, the, they can make the cells uh, also have the same alignment. And we can observe the cells aligned uh, the uh, nano, nanofibers structures. And another, this, uh, this, kind, uh, this kind of arrangement can make the, uh, it's more stronger, have the, can have the more good mechanical properties. And we use this also uh, for animal test. And we can observe after three months, three months, this is a very good. And uh, this is a, become the black. That means they were uh, connected each other. So this is the successful. And so based on that, we use this uh, re reversion 
reconstructions the structure we developed a novel method for the generations of the 3D hier uh, hierarchical structure mimicking the native IVD tissue. And another is in vitro and in vivo experiment indicated they have the uh, excellent uh, biocompatibility and the functionals of the micropotent BC based IVD. And the hierarchical IVD implanted has the potential to act as artificial IVDs, replacement and represent a critical st step in developing biology therapies for the degenerated disc diseases. So this is the first example. And secondly, we were introduced for the blood vessel is also the hierarchical structure of bacterial cellulose with the potato st uh, starch tubes as a potential smaller damage uh, vascular graft. So in this case, we also uh, incubated the uh, bacterial cellulose, but in this case, if without any modification, the bacterial cellulose, the uh, pore size is not good. So in this case, we try to, uh, in this case, to put the uh, potato starch and the heating and the swollen potato PLs. So in during this incubation and uh, after that, uh, after uh, culture and uh, qualification, we obtained it, the pore-sized uh, surface and the inner structures. And after this incubation, we use uh, uh, next is the animal test and also for the uh, animal test. So first, the, the structure of the uh, materials. So this is the uh, up surface. Here is the, the cross section. This is the inner sections. So for bacterial cellulose itself, we can observe this is the very denser uh, structures. Almost uh, the process is smaller. But after to put the more uh, potato structure, potato uh, starch, then we observed this is a, a very good uh, pore size. But if we put the more uh, potato starch, the pore size is large. But another is uh, uh, mechanic properties is not not good, so we choose the two percent uh, potato starch. To and also we test the uh, biocompatibility. This is very good uh, biocompatibility uh, for both uh, different cells and also for the uh, blood compatibility. Is also good. And the most important is for the animal test. For the animal test, if the bacterial cellulose itself, we use it and we found it after sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes the blood will be blocked. Uh, but for the uh, BC and PS, this blood vessel after the three weeks it's still, uh, uh, it's not blocked and all the, uh, it goes smooth. And another is we can find it uh, for the BC, it will be shrink it. Uh, and uh, if added the BC and the PS after the uh, 14 uh, days, we can observe we can observe and the inner uh, cells uh, permitted very well. It's similar to the uh, to the rabbit uh, rabbit blood of uh, uh, rabbit uh, vessels itself. 
and we also use the uh, different we can observe we we use the cd31 uh, to a standing and we observed the smooth cells inner smooth cells and another is also for the bc and the ps is uh, uh, quite similar for the rabbit uh, arateurs. And finally, we use the collagen staining and the elastic staining. We evidenced the collagen content is increased and also for the elastic uh, proteins also, uh, also, also increased. But for the bacterial cellulose itself, they are uh, it's not not benefit for the college and for the elastic so they cannot uh, make the uh, inner cells uh, can grow well so uh, that is for the blood vessel and another is uh, actually for the uh, blood vessel itself uh, they have the three kind of the cells for the uh, artificial uh, blood vessel. So it's uh, not easy to make the three kind of the cell can locate the different three levels. So in this research, we first to, uh, to preparing the films and on the film surface, and injected the cells. And the cell can easily to partalize the three kind of a cell can easily uh, inject it. And then to after rotting, after rowing, then to, can obtain the three kind of a cells uh, on the three layers. So this is uh, uh, constructure the uh, different cells. And another application is we try to use the bacterial cellulose to be the soft electrodes as a, um, to make the brain electrodes. So uh, now they have the many IT need to use the brain and the computer interface. And this interface need the uh, materials. So need the films. So for this, uh, they have a different kind of the materials can be used. Uh, one is that we can use the silk fiber, silk, uh, silk based electrodes, and also can use the silicon based uh, materials. But we can uh, observe silicon based, they will be uh, occurred some inflammations. But for the silk fibers, uh, they have the very good bicompatibility, but the disadvantage is that these materials will be graduate, degraduated. So, and another, uh, they have the different other kind of material can be used uh, for the this uh, softer electrodes, but most of them is the hydrophobic materials and only bacterial cellulose itself is the hydrophilic materials and another is the young models and we can see the bacterial cellulose young model is quite similar for the neural tissues uh, young model so that need this materials is need to uh, softer and also need uh, stronger. So bacterial cell is a very good uh, candidate. So, and another bacterial cellulose, not only they have a very good hydrophilic properties, and another is uh, they can have the good light transmittance, these properties. And another uh, very good 
flexibilities after the three times one uh, 118 uh, degrees uh, to bend it. So we can see the um, for the electric conductivity and the uh, resistivities only uh, slightly decrease. And also they have very good by safety, uh, by compatibility is the safety. And here is we use it, uh, this is the animal test. Uh, we can uh, test the elector, uh, elector uh, physiological uh, signals. So this is the very good uh, electrode for neurons. So in this case, we developed a method to manu uh, manu manufacture the multi-challenged uh, neural machine interface. And the result uh, demonstrated the excellent flexibility and bicompatibility of the future seen bacterial cellulose-based uh, electrodes. And this device may provide us the new uh, capability for implantable and the surgery device. And another is we try to uh, use the bacterial cellulose to be the wood dressing for wood healing. So in this case, in this study, for normally, uh, if we are not controlled the bacterial cellulose itself, we will obtain the random structures. And if we use some uh, spatial model, so we can modelize it in the micro-ordered structures. And we also can use uh, the more uh, micro-ordered, um, use the template and so on, uh, we can obtain the uh, different structures, different. So in this case, the control, controlled by fabrication. In this study, we try to stretch it, directly stretching it, uh, use the force and also order the template it. And this is the, uh, uh, optic genetic manipulation and electric field uh, we uh, introduced it before, but we can observe for this case that is the mainly is the to these uh, controls and uh, electric field controls it can uh, realize the three D uh, order structures. And uh, mach directly stretching the bacterial cellulose, and we can obtain the ordered fibers. So this is stretching the old uh, orientations, VC and the gelatin films, so we can observe the uh, the nanocellulose can orientate, uh, orientate, orientation. So this is uh, stretching. Uh, so uh, almost the maximum can stretch into the 40%. It's a, and we use the stretching uh, membranes to uh, incubate the cells. So on the surface, we can observed the cell is aligned on the surface. So also uh, observed is uh, without stretching, the uh, cells will be migrations randomly. But after stretching, 
we can observe the cells uh, migrations along these directions. And another, this is a no electric field. And then we added the different electric field and 14 uh, M voltage or 115 uh, voltage. So we can observe both stretching and added electric field they can enhance the cell migrations. So this is uh, observed, the stretching and uh, electric field. And based on that, we also try to use this uh, stretching uh, bacterial cellulose and also the uh, electric field to test the in vivo root healing. So we can observe this is the better one. So this is the uh, HE standing and the machine stand, uh, standing. And we can observe this one is the most uh, better one. And another interesting is uh, we more enlarged the root healing and we found it. The spatial cells also they can order it aligned. So this yellow layer, these cells can be uh, aligned So we can uh, summarize after bacterial cellulose, after stretching, they can make the bacterial uh, cellulose can align. And also after added uh, the electric field, uh, they can uh, in vivo and in vitro, uh, we can uh, find the one is the can uh, enhance the cell migration and also can make the cells the, to aligned orientation. And also we use the bacterial cellulose to you know, use the vaccines. The same, uh, we can find that can make the, uh, can make the cells uh, grow well. So this is the, uh, um, to make the bacterial cellulose with the conducted to in, Hence, the conductivity can make them have the more application. So they also can uh, have them have some electromechanical properties. So they can use the, uh, so the uh, flexible uh, supercapitors and the energy storage and others uh, application. So, this is for the flexible super uh, capacitors. So if we comparing to others, so in this case, they have very good uh, properties, spatial uh, capacitor and the remarkable uh, clinical standing. And we also use it to be a kind of the uh, electric and the machinery's energies. So to make them have uh, some triple electric uh, nano generator. And also this is the fabric uh, uh, tip, uh, triple electric nano generator. And another we can use magnetic uh, modified to have the, some electromagnetic sensor. And another uh, can make them have the uh, pedal electric sensors. So this different uh, modification for the TNG and the electromagnetic sensor and uh, medical ferro electors, they have different advantage and disadvantage. For the TNG, they can save power and high voltage. 
but the disadvantage is the containing uh, contact CNE motor is easy damage. And for the electromagnetic uh, sensors is the safe power and the high energy conversation in efficient and no contact type. So, uh, but the disadvantage, the magnetic field uh, interface. Uh, and for the uh, metallic uh, ferro electric, this is the fast response speed and the high synthesis. But this is also contact sensors. Motor is easy uh, dam uh, damaged. So we use the bacterial cellulose after to combining with the different functional materials is the optic electromaterials or ordered cellulose to have the uh, uh, ordered structures. They can apply for the flexible dis uh, display for the electronic books also, and also the biomimicry sensor and the mini sensor and the biodegradable yeah. MEMS and so on. So we make the uh, cellulose after have the some bi uh, ac uh, electro activity materials so they can have the uh, not only uh, conductivity and uh, electroconductivity electrochemical uh, properties and electromechanical uh, properties. We also try to make them have some more, uh, some puzzle electricities, uh, pure electricities or photovoltaic electricity and so on. And we hope in the future, these materials can be uh, outside or inside implanted, but this worked as a kind of a generator achieve is a wireless uh, device of the machines. So uh, we use the nature polymer and also can use the bacterial cellulose, can apply it for the skin repairing, for the intelligent materials, and also uh, can be the uh, nerve, uh, nerve interface and the blood vessel and also for the bone and other, uh, other um, applications. So finally, uh, I will uh, acknowledge my group. Uh, this is the 2021, uh, we have the international symposiums on cellulose and the renewable materials uh, we organized and also thanks all the uh, founders support and okay thank you okay and uh, 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 here is the wuhan uh, almost the center of china okay 